happy solar eclipse in Aries. I'm your astrologer, Elian Nicole, and in this video, I am going to translate, uh, well, just a brief cliff notes overview of uh, what the solar eclipse in Aries means. And if you are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel, please give me a like, please leave a comment. Um, and also on Instagram, same thing, please follow me, astrology.tarot.elianicole on Instagram, and please give me a like, please leave a message in the comments as well to help me in the algorithm so I can continue to give these free astrological offerings. And so the solar eclipse in Aries perfects Monday, April 8th at 11.20 a.m. in Los Angeles and so adjust for your time zone accordingly and this solar eclipse is uh, 19 degrees 24 minutes Aries um, and it happens to be conjunct the North Node conjunct Chiron and Mercury retrograde in Aries and so this is a big new start that's happening. Um, it could be sudden or unexpected in some cases. Um, in other cases, it could be something that you have seen coming. Um, but we are just coming out of an eclipse portal as we have the solar eclipse in Aries. Um, the portal began March 25th with the lunar eclipse in Libra. And the lunar eclipse in Libra was a full moon lunar eclipse. So that was all about letting go, saying goodbye, releasing an exit point, a culmination, especially in Libra areas like marriages, relationships, um, but also it could be a departure or letting go or goodbye in beauty, art, justice, all of the Libra themes, a the social situation. Um, and I may have left some out, it's not everything. I always encourage you to contact me for a reading to get more of the personal gist of what I'm saying, but I give a broad overview in these videos. So, you know, we've been clearing the way, saying goodbye, letting go of the old, and this Aries eclipse welcomes the new in a very fast way. In fact, so quickly, that we may not have all the details and all of the information in place as things take off very rapidly. Uh, Mercury being retrograde kind of lets me know, it's like, oh, maybe we don't have all the details, we don't have all the information, but Aries is also the fastest moving sign of the zodiac. Aries is, you know, pedal to the metal. Uh, and so, it puts us in an interesting position. Now, not everybody is going to feel this transit personally. You will only feel the eclipse on a personal level if you have planets at 19 degrees, 19 or 20 degrees, Aries, Capricorn, Libra, or Cancer. Um, and it might be more challenging if you have it in any of those signs. If you have planets at 19 degrees, Leo or Sagittarius, it may be very empowering, but it's still very uh, fast kind of takeoff energy. And the conjunction to the North Node shows that there is something, you know, that we are hungry for, something that we are passionate about, something, something that we desire that is, you know, taking off, it's starting, um, it's like out the gate. Um, as of the eclipse and not everyone will feel it the exact day of the eclipse. It's like the eclipse is like the rock gets thrown into the pond and then there's these ripple effects through the next six months, even to a year in the case of this one. And so you might feel more of the ripple than the exact drop of the rock. It all depends on what your personal astrology is. But I will say that um, for the collective, um, there is definitely usually eclipses um, to the ancients. They were associated with the death of a king, the death of a, a solar figure, a president, a CEO, a father. Um, 
but it's usually more of a collective experience than a personal experience. But it's the kind of collective experience where it affects everybody a little bit on the personal level because we're all connected to this collective experience. The other thing that's really remarkable about this one, this solar eclipse is that it's conjunct Chiron, the wounded healer. So there's so much right now. It's like a healing crisis. It's like time for to, to heal either physical wounds or emotional wounds or relational wounds. Um, you know, Chiron is in the heart of this solar eclipse. And um, so, I mean, it could be a time for um, apologies, a time for forgiveness, um, but it could also be more about, um, you know, physical injuries, physical wounds, um, sickness that we're getting over, um, or emotional wounds. But Chiron represents um, doctors, therapists, also mentors in some cases, um, and uh, yeah, healing, the healing process is on the table for everyone right now, certainly for the collective, but then also for all of us as individuals and in varying ways. And what else do I wanna say? This is a Mars ruled eclipse because, um, so Mars, the God of war is kind of the boss of, you know, the sun and Aries, the moon and Aries, cause it's a new moon, both the luminaries are there, but then we also have the North Node in Aries and Chiron in Aries. And so Mars, who's in Pisces, is ruling all of these. And Mars in Pisces is having, um, he's having kind of a crisis of faith. <laughs> and he is digging down into, um, you know, his own like spiritual beliefs and his own healing, but it's kind of a very emotional Mars in Pisces and he's conjoining Saturn. So the the malefics are, are joining, creating, um, there's a lot of emotional pressure there. Um, and uh, there's also a feeling of like stop and go or like trying to get going and then a stop. It's Mars and Saturn. Mars wants to put the gas pedal on and Saturn wants to slow things down, you know. And so there's that push and pull kind of going on also. Um, and it's it's a lot of water and fire so there's a feeling of a like of a of a pot of boiling water in in a way um what i will say is that uh you know during the eclipse portal this past couple of weeks since the libra lunar eclipse you know pay attention to um, you know, who have you been talking to? Where have you gone? What have been the big themes in your life? What has been your focus? Uh, this is going to tell you a lot about how this eclipse cycle is going to come back around in October. And, um, so I don't know. I don't know if this was the most articulate video. I just wanted to stop in and, and, and say something about this solar eclipse because I know that there's a lot of um, anxiousness and anxiety about it. Um, the ancients believed that we should stay inside during the solar eclipse. You weren't supposed to go outside and watch it. If you are gonna go out, uh, it's safest to be around the drummers because the drums are thought to um, you know, ward off and scare away the evil spirits that the ancients thought that the eclipses brought out. But yeah, as the, um, the moon passes between the earth and the sun, it casts a shadow on the sun. So the light of the sun completely disappears. Um, and 
And the sun is, again, it's related to solar figures, um, kings, world leaders, CEOs. So we'll probably see a big death like that that's like will impact the collective during this time. Again, in people's personal lives, unless you have planets, personal planets at 19 degrees, Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, Libra, you'll probably not feel it personally. If you do have planets at those degrees, then you will feel the eclipse energy of your life. And a lot of times it has to do with a takeover of power. Like whoever has the seat of the throne, someone is eclipsing them and taking that seat or someone is eclipsing the person in the power by taking them down by, you know, it's kind of like that kind of energy. And so, you know, but there's a, there's this, um, you know, turbo new start in whatever area of our chart that Aries rules. And so that's exciting, right? <laughs> um, anyway, that's all I'm going to say today. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful solar eclipse in Aries.